I'm always delighted to be with Saul Nuzis, who's been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for September 16th, 2022. Just the News reports, Ron Johnson jumps into lead in Wisconsin Senate poll as Democrat negatives rise. The latest Marquette Law School poll released on Wednesday shows Republican U.S. Senator Ron Johnson with a slight lead in the race. Johnson is up 49% to 48% over Democrat Mandela Barnes. But the bigger news is the jump in unfavorable ratings for the Democrats. In the Senate race, pollsters say Barnes' unfavorable numbers have skyrocketed. Among registered voters, 33% say they have a favorable view of Barnes, while 32% of voters say they have an unfavorable view of him. In August, those numbers were 37% favorable and 22% unfavorable. And then back in June, those numbers were 21% favorable and 16% unfavorable. The Marquette Law School poll was conducted from September 6th through September 11th of 2022, interviewing 801 registered Wisconsin voters. An article from the Daily Wire reports, nearly two-thirds of Americans, even most Democrats, say Biden's attacks on mega-Republicans are dividing the country. According to a new survey of 1,277 U.S. adults, nearly two-thirds of Americans, 62%, agreed that the White House's attacks on so-called mega-Republicans increased division in the country, while just 29% disagreed. Notably, 73% of self-identified Democrats agreed that Biden's remarks further divided the country, including 43% who strongly agreed, with just 19% disagreeing. Majorities of Americans also agreed that Biden's attacks on MAGA-Republicans endangers Americans' First Amendment rights and was a politically biased use of the office. TIPP Insights, the outlet that conducted the survey, said, quote, President Biden's recent comments about Trump supporters espousing semi-fascism and accusing the former president's followers of representing an extremism that now threatens the very foundations of our republic shocked many Americans. Now, despite White House denials of ill intent, a majority of voters call Biden's remarks divisive. And finally, an article from The Federalist states, Democrats in key battlegrounds are refusing to debate Republican opponents. Democrat candidates in pivotal races across the country are avoiding opportunities to defend their platforms before the voters just two months before the November midterms. On Sunday, Arizona's Secretary of State and fall gubernatorial candidate Katie Hobbs became the latest Democrat nominee to refuse a debate with her Republican rival. Hobbs' campaign had demanded separate half-hour interviews instead. Five-term Washington Senator Patty Murray is refusing to engage with Republican Senate nominee Tiffany Smiley, who challenged the incumbent lawmaker to four debates. And in Pennsylvania, Democrat Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman who is pursuing an open Senate seat vacated by retiring GOP Senator Pat Toomey, has blamed his health for refusal to debate Republican candidate Dr. Oz. In May, Fetterman suffered a stroke where, in his words, he almost died. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for September 16th, 2022. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.